Hello and welcome to the Machine Logic Quick Start Series. In today's session, we're going to use Vention's publicly available pick and place design to demonstrate the three steps required to program your custom application. In order to start programming with Machine Logic, your design must include at least one actuator, end stop sensors, and a machine motion. Let's start by opening up the Machine Logic Editor. Before you can start programming, the first thing you need to do is set up your actuator and digital I.O. configuration. Click the Add Actuator button. We'll give the actuator a descriptive name. Let's call this actuator the X-axis. We'll then select the actuator type from the drop-down menu. After selecting the actuator type, we'll click the corresponding checkbox on the right side to specify the specific actuator in our design. In the final step, we'll need to specify which sensor is the home sensor and which sensor is the end stop sensor. This will also define where the positive direction of our axis is. The home sensor is used to set the zero position of the actuator and the end sensor is used to protect the actuator from over traveling. In today's design, we'd like to home the actuator to the right side of the timing belt. So we'll select this sensor as our home and this other sensor as our end. We'll continue to configure the remaining actuators in the same way. The next axis to configure is the vertical ball screw. We'll give the actuator a descriptive name. Let's call this one the Z axis. We'll select the ball screw actuator type and we'll click this checks box. The chosen actuator is highlighted in green in the CAD. And again, we'll repeat the same steps for the rotary actuator. Now that we've configured our actuators, we can begin writing our machine logic application. Click the Add App icon and select the newly created application from the left hand pane. Give the application a descriptive name by editing the text field at the top of the machine logic editor. Machine logic applications are made of sequences, and sequences are groups of commands. Select the main sequence to begin inserting commands. In this video, we'll only be using the motion and the execution commands. Let's begin by homing our two axes with homing sensors. Best practice is to begin your application by homing all the actuators that have a homing sensor. If you do not home at the start, the absolute commands might not work. Click the add motion command. By selecting the Z axis from the actuator dropdown, the motion type dropdown is filtered to include all relevant commands. First, we'll home the Z axis then add another motion command to home the x-axis. Now we'll return to the application pane. Sequences are useful to group commands together to perform specific tasks. Sequences should be used as often as possible to keep your machine logic application easily readable and editable. These sequences can then be executed and played within the main sequence. Let's add two new child sequences. One sequence to perform the pick operation and one sequence to perform the place operation. As sequences are added, they appear in the left-hand tab of the Machine Logic Editor. Select the pick sequence to begin adding motion commands. First, we'll want to send the x-axis to the center of the pick location, which is the home position. Next, we want to lower the z-axis to the pick position on the box. Select the ball screw actuator, select move to position command, and then enter the position of 180 millimeters. Now let's complete the place sequence. The sequence will lift and rotate a box from the center of the pallet simultaneously, then carry that box over to the pallet. Move the z-axis to position 100 to clear the path. To add a multi-axis motion command, select the add motion icon, select move to position, and enter the corresponding position. In this example, we'll move the x-axis to position 1140 and positive 90 degrees in the rotational axis. And finally, moving the z-axis to move down to the drop position. Now that we have added two new sequences, we need to define when they should be executed. Click main sequence from the left hand pane, click add execution to add a new execution command to the bottom of the main sequence, click execute in series to execute the homing sensor sequence, 
Now repeat for the pick sequence and play sequence in order for them to execute one after the other. Once we have completed this, our application is ready to be simulated. Press the play icon on the bottom right of the machine logic editor to execute the application. The active commands will be highlighted in green as they are being executed. If you'd like to get a better view of your simulation, close the machine logic editor and click the play icon. If you're satisfied with your machine logic application, then you're ready to download the application to your machine motion controller. Reopen the machine logic editor and select download application from the left hand pane. The Machine Logic app will begin downloading in your browser. To upload your Machine Logic script, connect your computer to your Machine Motion controller. From there, go to the Control Center. Before uploading your application, make sure you have properly set up and configured your machine. Once that is done, you can open the Machine Logic tab and upload your program. The interface you have here is identical to the one you saw in Machine Builder. From there, you can continue modifying your application, execute on your real life machine, or even create new ones. If you're looking for an operator interface that will allow you to launch and monitor your applications without changing them, you can go to our Application Launcher tab. From there, you can see all the machine logic applications currently present in your machine motion controller. Thank you for watching our quick start series. To get a deeper dive into machine logic, check out our other tutorials.